I wouldn't say this is overly for clubbing. I wouldn't say this is overly for a date, but it has a nighttime vibe and that's exactly what they were going for. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on Abercrombie & Fitch's Fierce Night. Now this is a fragrance that a lot of people have suggested me to review for a long time. I just tried Abercrombie & Fitch's Fierce Reserve. Although it wasn't the best fragrance ever, it didn't beat the classic Abercrombie & Fitch fragrances. I really enjoyed the kind of tone that they were going with. And I actually do hope that they keep Fierce Reserve around for a little while. However, the new Abercrombie & Fitch Fierce Night and Fierce Reserve so far have gotten pretty good high marks from me and I'm really enjoying them and I really hope that Abercrombie keeps them around for a while because I do think they're on to something. Citrus, bergamia, lavender, foliage, musk, and woody elements. Now, seems like a pretty simple scent and in my opinion, it is a very simple scent. When I first smelled this fragrance, it reminded me of Abercrombie & Fitch's Colden. Fierce Night smells closer to Colden than Reserve does and it almost has a little bit of that Colden kind of look because Colden has what looked like a dark green to me and this kind of looks like a dark green, but kind of similar. I do not think these should have the Fierce name on them, this one and Abercrombie & Fitch Fierce Reserve, just because there's almost no tie-in to the Fierce. I think Abercrombie wanted to say, hey, we're going to make a really good fragrance, so we're going to call it Fierce, so you go and buy it because it's going to be good. Although that is part of the reason that I bought it, and I do think the fragrance is good. It has almost no comparison to the original Fierce, and in my opinion, this smells way closer to Colden versus anything else. One of my subscribers picked this up. He actually tried this out amongst a bunch of friends. He said this was definitely his favorite out of the batch and he was even showing some girls and apparently the girls that he showed liked this fragrance a lot more than Reserve. Comparing this to Reserve and to Colden, Reserve, I really like it. It just is a little hard to pin down. It's a little hard to understand what it's going for. This is much simpler than Fierce Reserve. Right away when I smelled it, I was like kind of a little bit turned off because it was so simple. But once you compare this to Fierce Reserve, this is kind of a tuned up picture. And I do think that people might like this a little bit more just because it's very linear. It doesn't really change too much versus Fierce Reserve. Kind of dances between a lot of different fragrances. The pros is that it's extremely likable. It has a very, very good presentation. It has some classic Abercrombie and Fierce vibes. A little bit of that Colden vibe, actually a good amount of that Colden vibe to me. But then also it has something like, yeah, that kind of smells like Abercrombie. Abercrombie has this little tint that they'll put on fragrances. It's hard to describe, but it just smells like Abercrombie and I do smell that in this fragrance which I really do enjoy. This is very very good for the night. Surprise surprise. You know what's funny about this fragrance is that you think of nighttime, you think of clubbing or you know date nights and stuff. Although you could use this in any situation with night, it is a general night scent. You know I wouldn't say this is overly for clubbing. I wouldn't say this is overly for a date but it has a nighttime vibe and that's exactly what they were going for. Very, very, very safe. Now, I will say that I really liked Abercrombie & Fitch Colden, but compared to this fragrance, I found that Colden has a little bit of an extra vibe to it, a little bit of like this earthiness to it that's a little hard for me to pin down. If you take the Colden DNA and you make it more likable and you kind of insert typical cologne vibes into the Colden DNA, in my opinion, you get this. And I felt that Colden was already super, super likable, but I do think that this actually is a tad more simple and likable. It just is. So I gotta say, very safe and very likable with Fierce Night. So let's jump into the cons of this fragrance. The cons is that it has average longevity and projection. Now this is all Abercrombie & Fitch fragrances. I feel like this is a tad, like just a hair weaker projection than something like Colden or something like Fierce Reserve. Now it's really close in the ballpark. I wouldn't say it's bad, but I would say it's right in the middle, maybe lower middle, but at the same time, it will get the job done. If you are in close quarters, if someone does hug you, they are gonna smell it probably a few hours later, but it just doesn't have a lot of good projection longevity. Most Abercrombie fragrances don't, but I had to include it here. Not for the high heat, obviously, because it's Fierce Night, it just isn't a summertime scent, it isn't a high heat scent, it's more of a slightly cold weather scent. And another con is that it is very simple. I found Colden to be one of the more simple Abercrombie & Fitch fragrances 
as it is and I do find that this is even more simple so kind of had to put that in there but at the same time it doesn't smell like any designer really it just smells in my opinion closer to Colden. So what situations is this good for? I think for the gym I think this is okay. For the gym I think this is good to okay. It's not the best but it's generally really likable. It's somewhat light. It would be good. A date I would say this is good. Not overly great. It's sexy but you could find fragrances that are sexier. It's okay for a day is passable. Classroom, yes, this is probably one of the better ones, I would say. Abercrombie has very, very good classroom projection. Close quarters, very, very good. Work, I think this is okay again. Not really super bad, but not really super, something I would recommend for work, so right down the middle. And then for my smell rating, I'm gonna give this a smell rating of between a 7.5 to an eight out of 10. The only reason I wouldn't rate this fragrance any higher than that is just because it is a little simple, but 7.5 to an eight, very solid. For like a this is definitely its strongest suit. I'm gonna go with a nine out of 10. I don't really think anybody is gonna dislike this fragrance. Even if you got a person who's like, I really don't like strong fragrances. I don't like when people wear perfumes. This is a fragrance that I think people are just gonna like no matter what. It's very likable, nine out of 10. And then longevity and projection, I'm gonna give this between a 6.5 to a seven out of 10. Now I wanna say I've definitely smelled fragrances that are weaker than this. This one was just about average, maybe just the slightest bit below average, but a lot of people online and other people have said that they get good longevity and projection with this one. I've tried some extreme powerhouse fragrances, so I'm kind of putting this in the realm of every single fragrance ever created. I'm talking about fragrances that will last in your clothes for like days up to a week. Comparing those to this fragrance, I gotta give it a 6.5 to a 7. So my final verdict on Fierce Night. I actually do enjoy this one. It's not something that overly impressed me. It's not something that I'm gonna jump to and grab for like, I wanna wear something special. Doesn't really scream that, but for the recent Abercrombie releases and because I like Colden, I do think this is a very good fragrance compared to all the other fragrances they released, you know, 2016, 2017, 2018. I did really like Authentic. It's the one that kind of smells a little bit like Aventus. That one's kind of more for the warm weather, but this one, one, it just has more of an Abercrombie vibe than Authentic, and I do think this actually projects a hair more than Authentic. So if you're watching from Abercrombie, please keep this and uh, Fierce Reserve available for at least a little while. I really do like the fragrance. I really think that it is a slight step up. We're not back to like the top tier Abercrombies where it was like so, so, so good. People don't even understand. We're not that high, but we're kind of climbing the ladder. I think the worst thing you could do is get rid of these fragrances quick because the chances of you just creating another one that's gonna be as good as a reserve or as good as Fierce Night, kind of low. I like all the stuff about it. What do you guys think of this fragrance? Have you tried this fragrance? Have you not tried this fragrance? I'd be very interested to see down below. Yeah, I tried a pretty good amount, maybe like between a half and a third, somewhere between there. But thank you so much for watching the video. You are the best. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers. And I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. Thank you guys so, so much. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video.